Hey, Brock. <laughs> Who's cuter? Was I cuter then or now? <laughs> Hey guys, it's Brooke. Hey guys, it's Kendall. <laughs> Hi, I'm Chloe. Hi, I'm Paige. Ooh, my lips were real crusty. Hey guys, it's me, Kalani. Hey everyone, I'm Jojo. She's so happy, just so happy. And we are looking back at Abby. <laughs> Kendall, you were second. You know how I feel about second. Second place is the first loser on stage. Abby has so many sayings, we call them Abbyisms. I'm Abby Lee Miller, that's what I do. Sometimes I will hear quotes in my head that Abby has said to me. There are no second chances. You know, put all your eggs in one basket. Kendall, you are back on probation. It's like, whoa. Save your Save tears for the, the pillow. pillow. Everyone's replaceable. replaceable. If you drop your hat, you die. No, I'm just kidding. That was only one week. We were just talking about this the other day, all the girls and I. We were like, what are a few things that stuck with us that Abby would say? This is your shot, and you better win. You don't want to be a one-trick pony. It's tough getting to the top, but it's even tougher staying there. The number one thing is, were you raised, raised in, in a barn? barn? Because when we would attempt to put our feet on a couch with shoes on, she would have a conniption. Second is the first one to lose. I unfortunately cannot escape second is the first to lose. And it's not even my opinion, but I heard it so many times that now I believe it. I don't like being second, you know that. Like when I am watching a competition or the Olympics, I see for the person who got the silver and I'm like, well, second's the first to lose. And then I'm like, oh my God. So toxic. <laughs> All right. have fun! I like that one. I say that to my friends when we're trying to rally to go out. Do you ever hear any Abbyisms in your head? Oh, all the time. I mean, Abby is playing in my head all the time. Anytime I go to cry, I'm like, don't you cry. No, 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 no crying, crying children. children. None. No. Don't cry. Save your tears for your pillow. All the time. Abby's always in this brain. You're so cute. I need a wet. I need a wet. Oh, God. I need a wipey. It's right here. I liked when Abby would be like a wackadoodle in rehearsal. That was always the best. Let's go. Dun, 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 dun. It's this. Nope. We're not dancing in the street. Oh, my God. She's iconic. Hey, guys. I'm here. I'm very sick. Sometimes Abby would come to competitions looking a little ragged. So, you know, I was there to help. You do have a hairbrush, right? What? Abby, your hair. Yeah, I said I'm going to go Just to because you have a rash doesn't mean you can't brush your hair. That's it, roll. It's it. Have you looked in the mirror? <laughs> Her rollers? She's crazy. I used to do makeup at, at a Chanel counter, and I love it. So I really had no problem asking Abby if she needed a little help with her makeup. You're very vain. I have confidence no matter what. You know what? I think she is exactly who she is, and you take it or leave it. I need a wet. I need a wet. Oh, God. I need a wipey. It's right here. There we go. There we go. It's almost like I was not a dancer or something. You're doing amazing, yeah. sweetie. <laughs> Look at my dad, dad, dad. Hello. Baby. Broadway baby. That dog. <laughs> I don't really have much to say. How's a baby doing? Did you get a haircut? Did you get a haircut? I heard. Broadway baby is my dog. The crusty-eyed white dog. Aw, she was cute in her own way. She is the best thing in my life. She doesn't roll her eyes at me. She is wonderful, absolutely wonderful. Broadway baby was treated like a real baby. I remember her being pushed in a stroller. But most people bury their dog, and Broadway baby is probably still with Abby. It's been a few weeks since Broadway Baby got sick and passed away, and I'm still dealing with it. People have had dogs, you know? They, their dog, they, they put it down, and then they get another one, and I'm like, I, I, I just can't do that. There's no way. 
I'm with so you. So I'm still trying to figure out what I'm going to do with baby. Look at this baby doll. Oh. I mean, look at her. Can she I looks see? like a stuffed animal, doesn't she? And just, Isn't she so sweet in that eyes and her nose? Just, you know, and get, I, go to a reputable taxidermy place and get her stuff. Stuffed. And <laughs> Broadway baby is stuffed. Oh. Oh my god, how beautiful. That is so weird. Oh, oh baby, oh you god. are beautiful. Those oh, eyes baby. especially are very special eyes yes. that I ordered, you know, specifically for her. I remember like I went home to my dog and was like, I'm never doing that to you. <laughs> it like gives me the heebie jeebies. I don't like it. From what she looked like at the hospital to now, she looks she beautiful. Looks like a hundred bucks. Look at her, look at her fur. Oh. She had a good life. But I should have put her in commercials. Mm. Leave it open so she can breathe. OK. <laughs> Where does she put her? Like, does she keep her on her nightstand? Like, what? Do you think she sleeps with her? Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, we're on? <laughs> Just be cool. Remember, you're really cool. Don't try to be like a teenager. I know, yeah. <laughs> Isn't this me? Look at that couch. Oh, oh my God. This is the time Abby took us out for ice cream. The rehearsals were getting pretty intense. We were working for hours on end. So I thought we would just take a little break, and I took them next door to get ice cream. What do you think this food is for? Ice cream. Ice cream. Ice cream. Are we right? I forgot about this. Cheers. <laughs> can we get some service here? My God. It's so interesting looking back at season one. You can really feel that family dynamic between us all. Oh, my God. No! Give it to me! You have ice cream right there, right? There. <laughs> it makes me so happy to know that at one point, that was what we had. We definitely had some good times. We're in Las Vegas. I want to have a good time. I do not want your mothers starting all this crap with me. It's your job. When I correct you, I'm correcting you. I am not. Abby never let us get away from things. I thought, oh, maybe I'll get a little break, go do something fun. Shh, enough. The group number could win. It's contemporary. Even when we're out for ice cream, Abby's got to talk and talk and talk about dance. Can't we talk about something other than dance for once? <laughs> Hi. I love you. This week, moms, I might not be there. As you know, my mother is dying. She's not gonna get better. She's not gonna be cured. Right now, what the hospice care tries to do is to make her comfortable. Thank you so much for letting me be such a part of your mom's life. This past couple of years, we've been your mom, like I told her today, she looked right in my eyes and I said, you know, mom, you are my mom now because my mom left me so long ago. I love her so much. I love you. There's something that's better. What was so great about the show in my experience is there was a little bit of good and there was a little bit of bad interspersed into every single day we filmed the show. So it was all worth it to me because I found my forever family. It's okay. It's okay. You know, we all have those moments where we get a little overwhelmed and it's really important to remember that I think people really related to us because they saw our bond and our support of one another, you know? Come here. Do my job right and get rid of this, come home. <laughs> oh my God! Yeah. Are we adults now? <laughs> yeah. Hold on one second, she's right here. Abby? There was some guy. Hello? Oh, hi, how are you? From what I could take away besides dance, Abby loved food and boys. Abby gets a phone call and she starts being really giddy. I don't know who's on the other line, but I know it's a guy. So you're supposed to leave tomorrow, but you're staying so we can go out? Well, that's nice. Whoever she's talking to, she looks she's happy. She's an open studio. <laughs> 
She's so crazy. I'm kind of excited for Abby. A guy would be great for her. Whatever keeps Abby happy is good for all of us. I might be a little rusty. I haven't been out in a while. I need a little hubba hubba. That's, that's definitely right. <laughs> oh, my god. I know. That's ridiculous, right? That is a true story. That's wild. I hope she goes on a date. Maybe oh, she'll get laid so she's not so miserable. <laughs> I gotta warm up. It's so, 10 a.m. Oh, this is what I'm talking about, Kalani. <laughs> it's a surprise. It is a surprise. Ooh. Whoa! <laughs> you guys are getting personal massages. Hi. Can I interrupt you? I have a surprise for both of you. For us? Yeah, okay. I know you've been working really hard. Yes. And I want you to know that I appreciate your hard work. I oh, have a surprise in Studio C. Oh, it's a surprise? It is a surprise. Ooh. Whoa! <laughs> you guys are getting personal massages. Thank you so much. Abby. No one has ever done anything like this my whole entire life. Abby had been working really hard. She had been working the children hard. Abby and Gianna needed a little break. So I brought in two very nice-looking masseuses. Masseurs? No, other moms don't stress. Never. Kendall actually came up with the idea. I swear to oh, God. Oh, really? Gianna, you put that Kendall right in the front. I definitely did not know about the men giving my dance teacher a massage for a special part. No, that was just, she needed a break. She said it. No mom had ever done that for her before. How's that pressure, Abby? Fine. Good. As you can see, Abby needed it, and she loved it. Mm -hmm. And Gianna did, too. Where's mine? I, I, I'm having a tough time in college. I, uh, <laughs> and there isn't anything wrong with treating your dance teacher with a little massage now and then. Mm.